Starbucks had a policy where non-paying customers were not allowed to use the bathrooms. This policy sparked controversy after Starbucks kicked out trespassers Rashawn Nelson and Dante Robinson for not buying anything in order to use the bathroom. These men refused to leave the store, so they were arrested. Starbucks closed 8,000 Starbucks stores on May 29th for racial bias training. A whistleblower spoke with InfoWars about the anti-bias training and said she was forced to watch police brutality videos of white police officers attacking black men. In downtown Denver, a Starbucks store had a We Are Close Today to educate white people about their racism. Customers who do not like this racist, anti-white business should boycott Starbucks and the brands they partner with like Tazo Tea, Seattle's Best Coffee, Evolution Fresh, La Boulange, and Tivana. When you affect businesses financially and their stock goes down, then they will realize anti-white racism will not be tolerated. Starbucks CEO Kevin Johnson said, people of color can go in front of white customers in line. This violates the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which is a United States labor law that forbids discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. The former CEO of Starbucks, Howard Schultz, is leaving the company after finally becoming an executive chairman to possibly pursue a run for president. Let's make sure he does not get elected. Will you boycott Starbucks and stop spending your money there? Will you make your own coffee? Or go to another coffee establishment? Leave a comment below to share your thoughts. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to For the Love of Politics. See you in the next video.